Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making lemon blueberry breakfast cake. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. I made this a few months ago and I thought I'd share it with you today. It is super delicious and it's a great breakfast, coffee cakey kind of pastry to have at breakfast or 10 o'clock with your coffee. So it's pretty easy. It's a very basic pantry ingredients and with the blueberries and lemon, lemon, every time I have lemon, it just reminds me of spring. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's pretty fast to throw together too. So I've got a half a cup of soft butter and yeah, I melted mine a little, but that's okay. And we are going to do the zest of a whole lemon. And also you want to make sure your oven is preheating to 350 degrees. So I've washed the lemon and if you don't have either a rasp grater or one of these microplanes, man, it is one of my favorite kitchen tools of all time. So we're just gonna sit here and I'm gonna get all the zest off the lemon. If you're in California and have one, go pick one off your tree, because they are the best. Unload that and keep going. As I zest this, you can totally sub out the flour for gluten-free flour, just use the cup for cup. It works great. And either you want an eight by eight or a nine by nine square pan for this. And if you want to double it to a nine by 13, you can do that too. Today we're doing an eight by eight. Man, this smells good. So springy. Okay, that's probably a couple tablespoons. Now we got a lemon you can cut and put in your water. So we won't be using any of the juice on this. So go ahead and set that aside. And we're gonna use one cup of white sugar. There's the oven, it's all ready. So we got one cup of white sugar. I'm gonna mix that up here. All right, now we're gonna add Smells so, so good. good. Holy mackerel. Ooh. One egg going in. Oh, I forgot my towel. Hang on. All right, one egg and my glug of vanilla, which is a teaspoon. Give that a whiz. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients. We've got a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And two cups of flour. Now, out of your two cups of flour, you're gonna to wanna to take about a quarter cup and sprinkle it on two cups of blueberries. It's gonna help it not kind of stick together. I'm just gonna take this and toss it really quick. And you can use fresh or frozen, and if you use frozen, just put them in frozen. Just still toss them with the flour. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna take the rest of the flour. That's a funky blueberry. Add that. And then some of the most magical thing ever, buttermilk, it keeps it super moist and adds great flavor. And we just need a half a cup of that. Let's see if I have enough in here. So close. Get my next container out. I always have this in my fridge because I make buttermilk pancakes every Saturday, mostly, most of the time. And if you want to see that, it's further back in my videos for sure. Grandma's pancakes. Grandma's pancakes. So we're gonna add, let's get this whisked here. And I'm gonna slowly add the buttermilk. This is very thick batter. Slowly add the buttermilk. Okay, I'm just gonna... Hold on just one second. I said the word grandma and now it means grandma's Oh coming. no. So hold on a second, we have to tell them grandma's not coming. Okay, boo, you gotta go lay down. Go grandma's lay down. not coming. Not Can coming. you sit down? You 
go lay down. No one's coming. Go lay down. Everybody likes Denny. I guess so. Okay. All right, so we're going to get all that buttermilk in there. Go to your spot. And the batter is super thick. Okay, that is good. Now we're gonna toss the blueberries in. This is how you get your arm work out. I think in the winter, I think this would be a really good one to sub out orange and cranberries too. Ooh, orange zesty. Mm. Gosh. All right. I told you, you get your arm workout. Okay. So I have a greased eight by eight baking dish. I'm going to see if I can get this out. Man, that smells so good, you guys. I'm going to squish it around your dish. It kind of doesn't spread. You kind of have to really move it. And then we're going to take one tablespoon of sugar and just sprinkle it on top. We're gonna pop this in the oven for about 40 minutes. If you use an eight by eight, it'll probably take 40 to 45. If you use a nine inch, it'll take 35 minutes. And it's not, I think the last time I made this, I made a nine by 13. I think it almost took up to 50 minutes to cook. So start checking it around 35 minutes and see if it's done. We'll use the toothpick and I'll show you how to do that. Cause if it's not done, you just wanna keep cooking it probably to three to five minute interview intervals after that. So let's pop this in our 355, 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. Get all these numbers straight one day. And let's do that. All right, so that was 35 minutes. Let's check it. Let's see if we need more time. It certainly looks beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I hit a blueberry. That wasn't very good. Let me grab. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> hey, that looks really good. It's nice and brown around the edges. It's not wet. So. If you guys could smell this, I wish we really had smell-o-vision because it smells so good. I can't wait to eat it in the morning. So wait about 10 minutes before you cut this and serve this. So get it out of the oven and then make the rest of your breakfast or brunch. It's so delicious. Get your coffee all ready. But I just want to say thanks again for joining me in my kitchen. I sure hoped you enjoyed learning how to make lemon blueberry breakfast cake. I know that's a mouthful but it is so delicious. You guys have a terrific day. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications and have a terrific day. Lemon blueberry breakfast cake with sprinkles. Wow. And I do that. <coughs> Don't inhale when you're spraying your pans, y'all. I, I never inhaled. Should I just call it that? I like that. Okay, it's hot, no touchy. It smells so good. That's good. Uh, it smells so good. I mean, just like the ooh. batter's even good. I don't, I don't want a batter, but uh, I didn't delicious. either. But it even tastes good. Gonna taste good, I know.